All right, guys, I'm back in my local Walmart for the first time in like over three months, believe it or not, just because there hasn't been anything new. I've mostly been doing all my shopping at my local grocery store at Family Dollar, but now that I've heard new stuff has started to show up at Walmart, I'm going to see if there's anything new. Plus, I've come here for a haircut today, see if I can get one scheduled or get one right away, but other than that, I'm going to make a quick trip down the toy aisle, see if there's anything new, so I guess I'll see y'all inside. Alright, so before we go to the main aisle, it looks like there is a crap ton of figures on clearance, which gives me some hope that there will be some new figures in stock, but uh, here's the Finn Balor Series 91 for 5 bucks. Some battle packs over here for $7 a piece. And man, that does not look like Jason Jordan. It looks like Orlando Jordan. <laughs> There's Shinsuke. There's the Ellsworth Carmella battle pack back there. And a few elites for seven bucks a piece, including the criminal Jim Uso. <laughs> Not too much else. They even got some Turtles figures on clearance, which, uh, yeah, I don't care for that new series. These villains look weird, honestly. But, yeah, not too bad, I guess, for clearance. See Axel and Dallas back there. Of course, got Roman Reigns, John Cena. I mean... For seven bucks a piece, that's not bad. Five bucks for the basics. I don't know. I may consider maybe. I don't know. I kind of want that battle back just for the Carmella figure, but other than that, at least now this gives me hope that there's something new in the main aisle. Not too much else in the clearance that's really interesting. You know, your usual stuff. Barbie. I see some Equestria girls. I see, you know, Moana. I don't see much else in the figure department. It's just mostly more dolls on clearance, if anything. But yeah, I guess we're going to go see in the main aisle, see if there's anything new. Hopefully some Elites. Maybe Elite 68, maybe Pat Patterson. Hell, I'll be happy to just find some new basics. So I guess I'll see you guys in the main aisle. So first, I'm going to take a look at the Hot Wheels aisle and the other diecast cars, because the figure aisle is kind of full at the moment. There's a bunch of people there I don't feel like filming, but there's nobody here in the Hot Wheels aisle for once. Uh, nothing really new with the WWE Monster Trucks. Actually, hey, you got the New Day, so that's cool. Still got AJ and Roman and Finn. No Austin or Cena, surprisingly. No Undertaker. And I got some more Toy Story Hot Wheels. That's really cool. Trying to look through everybody here. No, there's Buzz down there. I don't see Woody anywhere. Yeah, it's like, let's see, Jenny. No, Jesse. Bo Peep, Ellie, and Rex, Woody, Buzz. If I collect this whole set, hey, my buddy Zach might like these. Yeah, um. Not too much to look at here in the regular Hot Wheels part. And, well, uh, I guess that's probably about it in this section here. Got those. That's a cool set of cars. don't see a whole lot else I really want to look at in this section, so hopefully I can go look at the figures here in a moment without anybody else being there, but yeah, I guess the Hot Wheels look decent for, I, I guess, I guess for the time being. Well guys, moment of truth. Do they have anything new? No they don't. WrestleMania was four months ago when they still have the WrestleMania Battle Packs. Still have the WrestleMania Basics, which I already have everybody in the set now. I've got Charlotte Flair, Elias, and Woke Matt Hardy, I bought them a while back. Well, that's a shame. Ooh, I do like this though, I like this Spider-Man here. If I was more into collecting Marvel Legends, I definitely would get this. Let's see if there's anybody else that's of interest that I would like to find. If they had Wolverine anywhere, huh? Yeah, I see Marvel's Puma. Believe me, I would love to start collecting Marvel Legends, but it's just, with WWE being my main focus and I don't know, I collect Power Rangers still on an occasional basis. Of course, something I used to collect back over here, but now I don't collect them. Or just, at least, I collect the collector stuff, I don't collect this stuff. So, Plains Turtles, yeah, they're flying off the shelves. I don't even know if the cartoon's even on right now. 
Honestly, as much as I love Ninja Turtles, that cartoon is crap. Just saying. They have plenty of Toy Story 4 stuff. I have yet to see that movie. I'll have to wait for it to come out on DVD and Blu-ray. And here's the only lease they have. Yeah. Kind of sad, to be honest. And as much as I would consider asking an employee if they have anything new, I'm just not going to bother. I like this Gambit figure. That's pretty badass. This is a build of... No, Gambit, Beast, Jubilee. Eh, if they had a Gambit... Well, they have Gambit, they have Jubilee and Beast. I don't know. It's just... Like I said, I would love to start collecting Marvel Legends, but the only thing stopping me is just, you know, it's too much, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, uh, there's to be so much to collect, I'd have to probably stop collecting Elites or start making more money, and then the only thing I have for Power Rangers is the Beast Morphers and one lone Lightning Collection of White Ranger, which, you know, they're going to have some more here soon, like the Pink Ranger from Mighty Morphin is going to be out, Magna Defender, they're going to put a couple of the Beast Morphers in there, and... I can't remember who else, but uh, still gotta find Lord Zed. I'll have to buy him on Amazon. But the WWE selection, disappointment. Oh well. I might take a look at the collector stuff here in a moment, unless the collector section ends up being crap, but yeah, that's really about it. Just I, for my first toy hunt in three months, a little bit of a disappointment. Before I stop in the collector's aisle, I'm gonna check these out real quick. I just saw this uh, little shipper here. This display of the Hot Wheels and these are pretty cool. The X-Men, different their version of the X-Men over the years of Hot Wheels including the first X-Men. That's pretty awesome. I don't know if they have the whole set of these or not. It's a set of five. I don't know if I'll buy these or not but they're pretty cool. And some more WWE Monster Trucks. Not too much else over here. And of course they have some more Spider-Man. Like I said, I am very tempted to buy this. That is pretty cool. And eh, just Legos on the other side. So this thing's been almost picked clean in a way. <laughs> but of course, the stuff on the other side. Still disappointment. I wish they put these on clearance. So maybe they can get the SummerSlam fit, you know, Elites and the Pat Patterson. But hell, at this point, I'll even take Elite 65 so I can find Sensational Sherry. But whatever. All right. Gotta try to hit the collector's aisle up real quick. And then after that, I'm done. Still no WWE Pops, but I guess the other Pops are good, besides the ones I thought they were crap. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, I'm going to try something a little different here instead of actually having my usual office set up. I'm actually at my local McDonald's, just got done shopping at Walmart, well, if you want to call it shopping, I didn't really shop for figures unfortunately, I mean, you know, I got a haircut since the last time I did a video, my hair is shorter, and, you know, I'm looking pretty clean right now. <laughs> but what wasn't clean so much was the figure aisle, I was trying to find new figures, and it just... I mean, the clearance aisle, I guess, gave me hope, but unfortunately, that's the only hope I had when you guys saw the main aisle. Nothing but the WrestleMania basics, battle packs, and elites. Uh, if they put those on clearance, I maybe we'll consider buying maybe the Jeff Hardy and Edge battle pack, maybe. I've already got all the basics, I've already got the elites. So there was like nothing new for me to buy. Uh, the only thing I bought, I said I was going to buy it, and I'll. I didn't buy the Spider-Man for the Marvel Legends. I was tempted, believe me, I would have. It was pretty cool. I mean, I don't mind buying stuff that's outside of WWE every now and then. So I finally decided to buy this. My only pick up of the day. I, mean, I was like, why not? Seven bucks. Just for the Carmelo figure in the world. Let's just, let's ignore this guy. This guy sucks. It's not like he, you know, he's the greatest person in the world anyway. He doesn't just suck because, you know, he's sent. 
you know, takes himself away. You know, Meyer, oh wait, that's what he's been I mean, He wasn't cracking up for a guard, but like, honestly, I don't think I saw anybody else in the battle pack. If I made myself a Hardee's, I don't know, that would have been alright, but, eh, that was the only thing worth buying. Even the trading card section was kind of dry, to be honest. I was just a little disappointed, and I do apologize, I was kind of quiet at the collector's aisle. Unfortunately, uh, there was like an employee on the other side cleaning off the figure. Yes, believe it or not, there, she was dusting off the sports figures. That tells you no one buys those sports figures. At least not my area, unless it's like, say, the Kansas City Chiefs or something, because I live in Wichita where everybody's a Chiefs fan. I'm a Ravens fan, but yeah, that's whatever. Football season's almost here, believe it or not. The preseason starts already. I mean, it's going to be, what, like my Ravens play a game this coming Thursday or whatever the 8th is. I can't remember what day it is, but uh, anyways, um, yeah, so I thought I'd try something there besides being in my office as usual. Just a little bit of a change of scenery, um, just for the heck of it. But anyways, guys, uh, if I ever do another toy hunt, hopefully it'll be better next time. For now, I'm just going to probably buy my figures I want off Amazon until, you know, the next time I do find new figures. And, um, well, that's about it, guys. So I'll just go right in the video here, so as always, feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to comment, tell me what you're finding your area, and then of course, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do. Make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss any notifications. And that, that's about it. So as always, thanks for watching, rock on, and keep collecting.